Hello Scorpio, welcome to your quickie. Let's get straight into the reading. From Alice the Wonderland, you've pulled the card of uncertainty. Now, it's uncertainty in relation to choosing who you will become. When I picked up this card, what I got for you was a journey. A journey to empowerment. Now, this journey has not been easy. You know, you can't decide the type of person that you want to be or who you want to be and immediately be there. It doesn't work that way. On the way, there have been errors of judgment, but it's only through the willingness to learn, experiment, try, fail, and try and fail again that you'll come to understand what must be done to be who you wish to be. Now, advice is maybe being offered in some way, maybe through tarot, maybe through friends or family. But if you expect it to be easy, quick, or something that someone else can do for you, uh, you'll be disappointed because the process is tricky. But ultimately, it will be far more rewarding if you put in the effort. So the energy that I get around this is if you try, practice, and are willing to make mistakes on the, along the way, you will become far more powerful and reach the place that you are longing to be. As your overall energy from Wisdom of Avalon, you've pulled the card of the Lady of the Lake. Now this speaks about the absolute truth, courage, having self-respect and acting responsibly. So with this one, I do get very much an Ace of Swords energy with this. And it is acting in your highest good respecting yourself and the manner in which you operate within the world around you. The message with this card is about total truth and integrity. So with this one, I, I get that the energy around this is reminding you of your personal responsibility in shaping your reality and its consequences. So these two together I feel speak about the need to act from your personal truth, making sure that you respect yourself and those around you, and take responsibility for your own actions. And keep in mind the type of person that you want to be or want to be seen as. So let's see where this goes. It's, it's interesting energy. So Scorpio, let's get straight into this reading. <clears throat> I've already meditated on your energy, so I'm going to cut the cards. Actually, I'm going to do another shuffle. I don't feel like that was it. Let's take a look. The Lady of the Lake, you know, that's the uh, the old Merlin tale, of course. So let's see. Okay, there we go. Let's start with the past. Let's look at the present energy, the near future, your advice or your best path to follow, what's happening around you that is currently affecting you, Hopes and fears, the potential outcome and the overall energy or what this reading is about. Ace of Pentacles, okay. <clears throat> you know, I think for you, what I'm getting is that your focus on at the moment is mainly to do with finding that prosperous place for you to be. Now, whether this is a relationship or a job, your focus is mainly on the material side of things. That's what I'm picking up so far about this. Let's let's have a look in the past. The Ten of Pentacles in reverse. Yeah, it's becoming clear to me here that this is go reading is going to be about money. <coughs> in the past, there's been a lack of money. Something may have fallen through. It could have been a family matter, something that, uh, and perhaps uh, it, it does speak about family, family inheritance, 
or money received from a family member could have been gifted to you but that's running out it, it's running out this money that was I feel it was a gift I, I do feel that that was something it may have been inheritance so this is why now your focus is on prosperity in the present circumstances you have the seven of cups in reverse so you're starting to see the gravity of this situation so I feel like I'm talking to someone here who has I'm struggling with some money struggling with uh, finding money now for whatever reason he is Scorpio it, this could be you or someone around you that is struggling with money it doesn't have to be you but Scorpio there's someone that is kind of really waking up to themselves here and saying okay well look I'm gonna have to start to do something here because the money that I'd saved or the money that was gifted to me it's running out and now I'm going to have to find a job or find uh, something that is going to give me prosperity for the future now okay in the near future you've got the nine of pentacles so it seems to me that you are going to go for something here it could be a new job or a new relationship that's going to give you a sense of fulfillment the nine of pentacles is of course a, a, a woman but it doesn't have to be a woman you could be a man here who is enjoying some creature comforts of life enjoying what you have around you now <clears throat> this may be something that you are <clears throat> pardon me working towards here Scorpio or something again that you I don't know why I'm getting this but but I, I feel like this energy of is this something that you've worked for or are you looking for something to be easier your life to be easier let's take a look at the advice or the best path to follow here the six of Pentacles mm. so there we go again with look at all this these money cards it's completely all about money for you here Scorpio this uh, this week so with this one it's about receiving support are you going for a loan some of you may be going for a loan from a, an institution from a family member because you've, you've recently woken up to the fact that you're, you're running out of cash I feel you I, I'm not sure if, you, if this is something that you're just hoping to achieve in the near future or whether you're going to achieve it in the near future will we'll continue let's have a look at what's around you here Scorpio judgment in reverse mm, okay now this it, it feels to me like if you've been waiting for the outcome of a decision related to money it seems to me like this is not going to work out in your favor this is for some of you it may be that something is falling through here something that you'd fantasized about dreamed about and it could be uh, I'm picking it up as, as a, a judgment made on on a payout now this could be anything really it could be inheritance it could be a relationship with someone who had money <clears throat> it could also be in relation to a job not working out as well so really any kind of financial decision here or decision that was made in relation to fi that, that was tied up with with how you viewed your finances there seemed to be a lot of daydreaming or fantasizing about this situation now in your hopes and fears you've got the knight of pentacles so putting in the work 
I think you're fearing that you're going to have to go back to work here. For some of you Scorpios, this is not for everybody. I, I, I don't, this is kind of an interesting reading. And, and you know, mo most of you have jobs. Most of you, uh, most of you, this will not be for you. It may be someone around you. It could even be uh, a, a, a child, you know, a, a son or daughter here that is a, uh, recognizing that they're going to have to go out and get a job you know it, it's that kind of thing because uh, I, I get that this person this this person Scorpio whether it's you or someone around you has relied on others for money for uh, some time so it could be it could be someone's child here and uh, they're being asked to, to go out here and 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 work for a living you know start putting in the hard work to choose a career and, and really focus and put in all of their effort and energy towards their future, their future goals, even if they start off slowly here. Now, the outcome with this is the Nine of Swords in reverse. Okay, so I do like that energy. <coughs> I do feel that this is someone having to... I pick it up as, as possibly going back to work, or, or really, for some of you, it, it's... It, it's someone just starting out here and, and, and going to work for the first time. But there's an alleviation of anxiety associated with this. So it may have been something that was feared for a while, having to go out here and, and make, a, make a name for yourself. Uh, because I do get this is a card of choosing who you will become here, Scorpio. And it being up to you to act responsibly, to stand in your absolute truth here, act with integrity, have the courage and, and self-respect to choose the right course of action. Rather than seeking an easy way out when it comes to this money situation and I do think that there's been a judgment made against you here which has made you come right back down to earth here and, and start refocusing on on your money on, on how to get the, the, the money into your life mm. okay let's take a look what is this nine of swords in reverse as the outcome here It's going to be a stressful time. Yep, the tower in reverse. Mm -hmm. You're avoiding, you want to avoid I think that you've in, uh, avoided making this, this change for a while. You know, I, I get the tower in reverse here it is a, I pick it up as some fear Fear of making this change in your life. Let's get some more cards. The Six of Cups in reverse. And let's get one more. Yeah, it's like growing up, isn't it, really? And having to go out and, and earn money for yourself after having it provided to you for a long time. So, you know, I could even be talking about someone here coming out of a long-term marriage and having to go back and, and, and work for a living as well but you know I, I do feel like this job th this working for your own money here is going to make you feel although it's going to be difficult and you, you you're fearing it I do feel like it, it's you earning back respect for yourself let's get one more card for the outcome here for Scorpio. Okay, we've got the Five of Cups in reverse and the Four of Pentacles. Okay, <clears throat> so here we go. The Nine of Swords in reverse. You know, for a long time you felt some anxiety, especially when it comes to making this change in your life. There's been a lot of fear, worry about 
an ending of some kind that you, you maybe saw coming or that you feared happening, but it, it's already happened, this tower event. And now I feel there is a, a letting go of, of your old beliefs, how things were in the past, and it's it's like you are, for some of you it's, it's about letting go of uh, childish ways and, and uh, moving on to maturity here and going out into the world and getting a job. For others of you though, it, it's more about having to having to deal with the end of a relationship, something that you viewed as your security. It, there, there was finances involved. Maybe you didn't have to work for a living and, and now you're having to go out and, and work. The Five of Cups in Reverse tells me that you're going to pluck up the courage here to, to work on your own finances and, and look forward to the future rather than focus on what's been lost here in the past you're going to pick yourself up here uh, dust yourself off and uh, and I feel for a lot of you it's about getting back to the person that you were or becoming the person that you would like to be now the four of pentacles tells me that <clears throat> for you security is important having stability is important and in order for you to get to this stable place it has a lot to do with you focusing on a new opportunity one that looks like it has potential to be prosperous I don't feel it's another person or that you will do the same thing again, uh, like try to find a security relationship or anything like that. I feel it's more about you being fearful of putting the hard work in here, but I do think that you, you're no longer fantasizing about taking the easy way out here, and, and I do feel that you're going to focus on getting this security for yourself independently of anyone else. I mean this is the card of a, a, a woman who is independent, uh, independently minded and is able to fend for herself. You know it's like that old um, Beyonce or, or Destiny's Child song is an independent women. That's what I think about when I see this one. You know not depending on anyone else whether it's a, a spouse or a family here. So if, by you being independent, working on your independence here, working on your, your, your coins here, and it may be that you, you need to get a loan here possibly uh, for, in order for you to do that. Uh, th that's also a possibility. Uh, I get that, that working towards this independence, this financial independence, will give you back your self-respect. And this will make you feel good about yourself again. You'll like who you are. You know, this card of choosing who you will become. I feel there's an energy around you of learning from experience. Something that you tried, I think you've tried the easy route out in the past, but it hasn't worked out for you. And now you're recognizing that things are going to be hard for a while, but in the end it's going to be better and, and more, more rewarding and productive if you do it the harder way, rather than wishing things were easier. You know, you may have thought for a while that becoming who you wish to be should be simpler or a simpler process. You may have avoided doing the hard work or wanted someone else to solve the problem for you. Wanting support but being unwilling to apply discipline. So there's a lot of energy around this of, of learning from the past and choosing wisely, choosing your path wisely, taking the route here of acting with integrity 
earning people's respect here by doing things, yes, the hard way, but ultimately, <clears throat> ultimately it's about you becoming more empowered by not relying on a spouse or family for money. Okay, so let's get a uh, let's get a card here from the Sacred Traveler. Interesting reading that this one's all about finances. So really, it's going to be up to you. This can go either way. On one hand, it could be that you you do decide that this is too much of a fear to get over, but I don't think so. I think you're going to choose the hard way here, the more rewarding way to to earn money because you know, for you. It, it will give you that self-respect and you will like who you are as a result. So let's see. What is the message here for this Scorpio? What is the message for this Scorpio, please? Message for Scorpio. Okay. Breaking trail. A breakthrough is at hand. Okay. So I do feel with this one, <coughs> Scorpio... It's really about you making the first move here. Taking that first step. Being at the beginning of a breakthrough. And preparing for what's ahead. You know, the path hasn't been clear ahead. But I do feel that the only way to reach your destination is to push through. Keep going. Maybe do things in a different way, a new way. You know, if you imagine a woman giving birth, it's hard. But through a great effort, of course, there is great reward. So something new and exciting is coming into your life here, but it's going to take hard work. It's going to take hard work. So I do think for most of you, this is a new job opportunity. One that's going to be difficult, but is ultimately going to give you that sense of independence and empowerment and stability that you want all by yourself without anyone else so if if you are if this could be you owing money as well so if you if you owe people money i feel like you are going to work hard to to pay them back so that's also part of the deal here as well so i'm going to wish you the best and uh, thank you very much for watching the quickie and bye for now